the fam. So I couldn't help myself, right? And I'm doing another flower tower video. Um, she did this video about six months ago on Zendaya, and it kind of gives a better outlook on probably why she was screaming in her last video on Zendaya. Zendaya very much triggers her, and I think any mixed woman triggers her. Any woman that does not look like her basically um, triggers her. And uh, in this video, you can clearly see it. She's mad at Zendaya in this video. And she's mad at Zendaya in this video because people were calling her black. As biracial people, we go through this very often in the biracial experience. We can sit up here and say all day, yeah, I'm biracial, I'm mixed, I'm mixed. And a bunch of black people will be like, no, you're black, you're black, you're black. And so what's the point of arguing with a bunch of people? You know, you just let them call you it at um some point in time you know you just you're just like all right whatever you know i know what i am i consider myself this or whatever and they'll they'll call you one thing like if she considered herself black a bunch of people would call her mixed so what's the point of arguing with people instead we just go with it um we definitely stand out i don't think that we were made to stand with the crowd and i think we have a lot of problems because of that and it just shows um she did absolutely nothing wrong and this woman is triggered off of another woman's phenotype and other people talking about it in a non-negative way i think that is so toxic as a woman you should be happy when another woman in general gets a compliment but of course haters don't like that so she's mad because people were saying, because I think this is Zendaya's natural hair right here. It just looks like she combed it out, um, which was very common. And I even comb out my curls sometimes because I want to wear a big fro and it'll look just like that. And there's nothing wrong with it because it's our hair. It's our actual real hair that we grow out of our head and we can do whatever we want with it. Just like girls with 4C hair who do the stretching cream and the curling rods to get our hair texture, we really do not care. However, we do care when those same, those very same women that braid their hair, braid their hair back, oil it up, and then take it down 24 hours later just to get the curls that we have naturally by washing it. Yeah, we're going to say something. We're going to defend ourselves. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. Really didn't sit right with me. Now, don't get me wrong. The kinky hair comment earlier also didn't sit right with me. But this one, because look. So I find it funny that she was saying this kinky hair comment that someone made. Like, oh, she has kinky hair um, to Zendaya. It didn't sit right with her when in the last video, she was literally calling her own hair nappy. Therefore, when she looks at other black women's hair that are the same textures as hers, she sees it as nappy because she sees her own hair that way. First of all, first of all, first of all, Zendaya is not a black woman. She is a biracial woman. And most biracial women biracial. do not have 4C hair. Now, it's possible. I think Doja Cat has 4C hair. I've never seen her hair, but a lot of people say she does. So it's possible for a biracial woman to have 4C hair. But... Okay, so I definitely wanted to get that in there, her admitting that she does know that biracial women can have 4C hair. And it's funny, I'm, I'm surprised she didn't bring up light-skinned women, but, you know, of course they can have 4C hair as well. But as you guys saw in those last two videos I made on her, she, she didn't insert that in the conversation when Zendaya was wearing a 4C wig. No. She didn't, she didn't state that. I think that she's just really upset that Zendaya can wear the frizzy hair and it's still seen as beautiful and acceptable, but that's because she's genuinely beautiful though. She could literally do any hairstyle and probably be, kill it. She, she could walk out with a mohawk and people would start doing it. It's like that scene in Mean Girls where they, cut out Regina George's shirt to show her bra. And then every, it was stupid. Everybody knew it was stupid, but they all started doing it. 
because she's beautiful. That's real pretty privilege. <laughs> and I just, I just think it's crazy how you would compare yourself to someone you look nothing like, and you are definitely not on her level. So you have no reason to be upset, honey, because y'all was never, you guys are definitely not in the same competition. I can tell you that. So you don't have nothing to worry about because nobody's looking at Zendaya's frizzed out hair and then looking at your 4C hair and comparing it. You're delusional. You're like a non-factor. I don't understand how you don't get that. Most of them do not. Right. Now, what this person said about black women is true. Most of us have kinky hair, you know, near the 4C region, somewhere around there. Right now, I'm not saying all black women, but most of us do, right? But most biracial women do not. Because when you mix a black parent with a white parent, you're most often mixing kinky hair with straight hair. And you usually get something like halfway in between, something like curlier or wavier, right? And it's also important to acknowledge one fact. If Zendaya's black parent is African-American or Caribbean, I'm not sure what he is. He might be African. I'm not sure, though, right? If he is African-American or Caribbean, he's not 100% black. He's probably only about 80% black. So Zendaya and other biracial people who are mixed with African-American or Caribbean and not like 100% African, they're usually only like 40% black, right? So they usually have more white genes than black and that's why they look more phenotypically like white people, right? Now this is my question. If Zendaya is a black woman with 4C hair, then who the hell am I? What the hell am I? Let, let me take this scarf off for y'all because like, let me, let me show y'all 4C hair and all the shrinkage and whatever, whatever. And this is my question, and I'm taking this down. It's going to take forever because this braid is skinny. But, um, because I've been talking to you guys about the erasure of black women for the past few days. And I've been saying how when biracial women call themselves black, they are effectively erasing black women and our issues. So I wanted to touch on that. She says that when, like, literally when we just say that we are black, which... No, Zendaya never said that. She's mad because other people were calling Zendaya black. And as I stated earlier in the biracial experience, most of the time, even if we do feel like, hey, I want to go as mixed or I want to like say that I'm black or I want to say that I'm white, whatever, people are going to fight it regardless. So you get to a point where you just stop arguing with people and you just know who you are and everybody else is going to speculate People that are of one race do not understand. They don't get it and they won't get it because they don't care to listen and they don't want to understand. But we're supposed to listen to them and understand them. Oh my God, you're going to be a race. How are, you, how are black women going to be a race when they outnumber us? There are more fully black women than there are mixed people. It's so funny that these people never look at percentages and they just go off of feelings and hatred and jealousy and they bring no facts to the table and they wonder why we call them jealous and haters and liars mm, because it stands true. That's not even that's uh, no shade, no tea like that's not even talking shit like that's just true that you guys are attacking us and putting out misinformation like, oh, my God, you guys were being a race like that is such an erratic that's erratic behavior like that that's like that's almost inciting you can incite violence with that you can like you that that's that's something that's like a form of speech that brings panic to people and that's why i was saying earlier about this being such a scary thing um and nobody's talking about it and it seems like no one cares about it and it is a big deal because we are the minority within a minority and if the people of that are the main uh, majority of our community feels this way about us we do need to separate we do need to protect ourselves and do our own thing because Zendaya literally didn't do anything but wake up and decide she was going to comb out her curls and go on the red carpet and then people just started commenting on her features and this woman is mad because nobody's complimenting her features because she's only gotten a negative reaction when it comes to her features and she believes it's because she has darker skin. And even if that is true, why are you vilifying someone who did nothing? 
And that's why I'm talking about the vilification of light skinned women and biracial women is disgusting. All because you can't get to white people and all because you want white acceptance. It, it's, never, it's never been more clear. You guys literally say it. Oh, why do white people like, like when they comb out their hair, but what about my hair? And you guys are erasing us because white people like you more. And then they turn around, they're like, but no, white people don't like you. They would still call you the N word. They're insane. They sound insane. And she sounds even crazier because Zendaya wasn't like, hey, she combed out her hair, went on the red carpet. And she's like, look, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> Guess what? I'm black. So, you, oh, you can tell I'm black. Uh, guess what? And she's not even out there like, oh, I'm biracial, which she could. Because why can everybody else be proud of who they are and where they come from, except for golden people, except for biracial people, except for light skinned people? Because you guys see value in our skin. You see value in our phenotype. So uplifting it makes it seem like we're downing you, even though we can uplift ourselves and not even mention you guys, and you will still be offended. Zendaya literally said nothing. And this woman made a whole video about it, talking about, no, she doesn't have 4C. She doesn't have 4C hair. She never said she had 4C hair. All she did was comb out her curls, but you would know nothing about that because you're too busy trying to make curl patterns. And that that's not okay. And that's exactly what happened in this scenario. Someone said a biracial woman with curls as loose as hers is a black woman with 4C hair. And I also wanted to say Flower Tower, you need to not get on camera like this again, ma'am. It's not flattering. And it has nothing to do with your 4C hair. You actually look like the girl from Polar Express. I wish I had a picture to insert, but y'all got the same hairstyle. You look like a child and you're over here talking about somebody's hair i wouldn't literally literally just erased an entire actual demographic it's like black women can't even represent ourselves we need biracial women to represent us like what now this is my thing i'm gonna post a picture of y'all with my forcey hair like stretched out and stuff right now okay well why do you have to stretch it out all zendaya did was comb her hair out and you're talking about how, okay, when you take down them little six braids, that's what you got. Cool. Nobody's hating on that. Is Zendaya making a video about, oh my God, when Flower Tower takes down them little six braids, look at her stretching her hair out to look similar to mine when I comb mine out. No, because she doesn't care about your 4C hair. Similar to Zendaya's hair in the initial picture, right? Our hair actually looks similar. But you do understand that both of us had to alter our hair textures in order to get them to look similar. So while she had to force hers to be frizzy, I had to force mine to stretch out, right? So, But you don't, though. But you literally don't. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the competing and it being a choice. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Competing is a choice just because you lost, because you want to compare yourself to someone that you're not even, you're not even in the same room, baby. You guys aren't. And you want to compare yourself to that person. You're surprised when you lose. You want to blame it on society. You want to blame it on your features. But she's literally walking around with that similar hair texture and she looks better. And by the way, nobody was comparing you to her until you brought her up. So I feel like it's a fair, it's fair game. Now, if you really want a comparison, you want to be compared to Zendaya, I wouldn't do it, boo. I really wouldn't. You always got on the filter that gives you the colored eyes. It makes you <laughs> not look ambiguous that you love so much. Um, but she did at least finally show her little hair. Um, but I I think it's hilarious that she was like, well, we both have to alter our looks. And Zendaya had to force her hair that way. Well, I had to force my hair curly. No, you didn't have to. And Zendaya didn't do that because she had to. She did it because she wanted to. And that's the difference between you guys and us exoticals. We do the things that we want to do. We don't do anything that we feel like we have to do because we would be miserable and bitter like you guys, period. Black women should be boycotting against women like this because they make you look bad as a whole. 
when you guys are sitting there listening and clapping along to this mess that someone can easily bring up to bring up and make that person look stupid because they do they look dumb So don't get me wrong, hair textures can look different. Just because I have 4C hair doesn't always mean it's always going through shrinkage and it's never combed out or anything like that. Because a lot of times people think that 4C hair is just always dry and then shrinkage. And if your hair is not like that, then it can't be 4C now. That's not what I'm saying, right? But, but my thing is I have to sit there and, and really focus on stretching my hair out to make it look that way. And she had to sit there and really focus on making her hair frizzy to make it look that way, right? Now, this is my hair. I washed it yesterday, and I put it in some braids so that it wouldn't get mad at There it is. 4C hair, baby. That's how it looks, okay? Zendaya hair don't look nothing like this. If she washes her hair and braids it up, it's not going to look like this because it does not curl up to the degree that my hair curls up. That is that. That is a fact, right? This is my thing because I have been talking a lot about the erasure of black women the past few days. Like, oh God, naps just went in my eye, bro. Like, oh, but um, mm. I've been talking a lot about this the past few days, and I have been being attacked mercilessly by biracial women. They have been saying all types of stuff. It has ranged from just passive aggressive, like a lot of them have been like, "I'm black, that's that," to just straight up like anti-black a lot of them have been saying like you're just so we're anti-black for defending ourselves but you're not anti-biracial by saying the things that you're saying you're literally trying to incite a panic within black women and you're inciting war you're inciting war against us and you're mad for us even daring to respond to you this goes to show how suppressed golden people have been and why it is a bad thing that we go too long without addressing these toxic, disgusting type of people because then they really feel like they have the upper hand and they're like so surprised when we defend ourselves because we're really not confrontational people. We're not. You guys start the stuff and you're mad when we get with you, when we match that energy talking about some anti-blackness when she's been anti-biracial this entire video anti okay anti-black doesn't mean anything just like anti-white doesn't mean any anyone can be anti-anything so to just throw it out there like oh they're anti-black like that's the worst anti thing that you can be miss me with it because if you're sitting up here, you started it with making a video being anti-biracial, but you don't want people in your comments being anti-black. I mean, at least be realistic. Jealous of us. Why would I be jealous of you? What is there to be jealous of? Clearly, you must think that being biracial is better than being black if you think I have a reason to be jealous of you, right? No, no. So you're saying that the only reason we think that black women are jealous, jealous of us is because we're biracial? It's not because you guys make videos like this. It's not because you guys say the things that you say. Mind you, in the last video I made of hers, didn't she say we can go into job interviews with our loose ass curls? And she feels like we're mocking them, mocking her. And there's a lot of black women that have these same feelings. They're like, that light skin girl, that mixed girl flipped her hair, her hair in my face. And that's the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Okay, girl. It's a mess, but you're not jealous, but you contradict yourself at every turn because you keep making these videos about women that you actually hate and then the hate shows. Just saying. Um, the only reason I make the videos I make are in defense of women that look like me. There are plenty of channels for black people where they are defending people that look like them and with their phenotype and just based off their phenotype. I at least pick people that, to defend that are of my phenotype and people that I think are actually good people like Zendaya. It's not like Zendaya was came out and was like, look at my 4C hair. No, people just kept calling it 4C and you were so triggered. You made a whole video about how her hair is not 4C and how look this is what 4C real hair looks like and they're gonna erase us if they start combing out their curls. Girl I comb out my curls all the time and I get compliments when it's combed out and when it's in its natural natural texture. Like I said we're not sitting up here complaining when you guys flexi rod your your freaking 4C hair uh 
<laughs> that's only going to be curly like that for a day or so. Um, we don't have problems with that. We don't make videos about that. And when people tell you guys your hair texture is pretty, even though we know you relaxed it to get to that texture, we don't say anything because we do not care. We have that shit naturally. The only reason you care is it is because it is something that you want, period. And you're mad because it's not celebrated on you and it's celebrated on other women. How is that that woman's fault? It's not. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll talk to you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe.